So a couple of videos ago, I spoke about the Colleen Ballinger situation, and in case you aren't aware of what that situation entails, let me just give you a quick recap. So Colleen Ballinger, also known as Miranda Sings, is kind of like a beloved creator, or at least has been a beloved creator for many years on YouTube. She was kind of like one of the OG YouTubers, you know, she's been around for a long time, but over the last few years, a bunch of her own fans have started turning on her. And the reason for this is because a bunch of allegations started coming out about Colleen, kind of showing her creepy behaviour. Now this was brought to light a few years ago from a YouTuber called Adam McIntyre, because because he made a video showing his experience with Colleen. He was kind of like a super fan of Colleen Ballinger, if you want to call it that. Like, he was in, like, the group chats and whatnot. And Colleen is, like, very close to the people in her group chat. Almost too close. And he made a video talking about how, like, Colleen would, like, trauma dump on him. And would also say, like, a bunch of creepy things. Like, she sent him underwear. Which she then tried to, like, kind of defend. And used a clip that was very out of context. In fact, Adam actually tweeted a side-by-side -side comparison of Colleen's, like, addressing everything video from a few years ago. And shows how she edited the clip to make it look like it wasn't as bad as the actual reality of it. So this is the edited clip from Colleen's addressing effing video. Did that boy win these or not? I don't know, he has to tell me what he wants. What do you say? <laughs> is he being mean? <laughs> he said, um, hi, you have ugly clothes, but I want those ratchet panties and bra signed by Corey because he modeled them well. Okay, so trying to make it seem as if, like, Adam was asking for the items, which still wouldn't make it right, you know, if an underage person is asking a 30-year-old for their underwear, you can definitely say no, as you should, but the original clip before it was edited by Colleen and her response video shows that it was pretty much her idea to do it in the first place. Do you love, I want to send him something. Do you want the bra, Adam? Adam, do you want the bra and panties? Yep, Sweet literally thing. asking him. No. This wasn't in the video, was I'm it? I'm him something. Okay, maybe he'll want the panties. Although, then his parents will be like, you're not allowed to watch who is sending you panties. Like, you know it's wrong, clearly. You're making jokes about how, like, his parents are gonna think that's weird because anybody's parents would think that's weird. But you're still carrying on and being like, oh, you want the panties, Adam? You want the bra? Very, very strange behaviour. Yet again, this is a 30-year-old woman talking to an underage boy, by the way. Even mom, don't worry. I watched the boy wear them. Yeah, I don't know why she, like, edited the context out of the clip, like, in her addressing effing video, as if people wouldn't notice that. And even with the edited clip, it still looks bad. But anyways, Adam uploaded this video kind of addressing everything a few years ago, but he got a bunch of hate at the time, because Colleen was still very beloved. But then recently, a bunch more people came out and said pretty similar things to what Adam said a few years ago. This has kind of given Adam the confidence to speak out again and go through even more information, bringing up a bunch of new allegations. And yeah, it's not looking good for Colleen by any means. Actually, in my previous video, there was a bunch of, like, like, Colleen, like, fans, I guess, who were commenting on the video being like, Oh, she addressed this years ago. Why are you bringing this back up? And to that, I've got a couple of things. Well, first of all, yes, I've watched that Addressing Everything video. It's not very good, and it uses clips out of context that we just showed, even though the clip she still showed just makes it look bad. I don't get how that got a positive reaction. But secondly, to the people who keep saying this is old news, I mean, yeah, Adam's original video was old, I guess if you want to say that, but there's a bunch of new stuff coming out. I think people just didn't watch the video from what I could understand. But that's kind of where I left my last video. We kind of just went through the allegations and showed a bunch of creepy stuff that Colleen was doing, like putting in group chats, asking for like ass pictures of Adam and like asking Adam if he's a virgin, what his favourite sex position is, all this while he was underage. And yeah, I was very shocked with how many people like were defending her. I kind of expected that because she's a big YouTuber. You always get a few people who defend her. But like the defence was always just like, oh no, Colleen's like a really funny YouTuber. What she's doing is jokes. And that was kind of it. There was just nothing to really back it up. And I was just thinking, yeah, I mean, if you find that type of stuff funny, then fair enough. I I'm very, very very worried for you. But yeah, a bunch of new stuff has happened since my last video, kind of regarding Colleen Ballinger's show. She's on tour for some reason, kind of doing her, like, character, I guess. And there's a lot to talk about of that situation. But before we get into that, if you haven't already subscribed, we are genuinely so close to 400k. Like, you know, in my previous videos when I'm saying, oh, guys, we're really, really close, but I'm still, like, 20,000 subscribers away. We're literally, like, uh, let me check. As I'm recording this video, we are currently 1,605 subscribers away from 400,000, which means we could be hitting it very, very soon. And, uh, yeah, if you do want to help out this is kind of like the final push you know tell your gran tell your mom tell your sister tell everyone is that what people usually say look what i mean is if you haven't already subscribed please do it'd be a good help but yeah like i said colin ballinger is kind of on a tour right now she does this live show in front of a crowd where she kind of just like does like a comedy piece i guess and people will sign a question like is this show still gonna go ahead because obviously she's kind of facing a lot of backlash right now and she hasn't addressed it but when it was made clear that the show is definitely going ahead people then started wondering okay maybe she might use this show to apologize and address things who knows 
was. I saw a post that someone said Colleen is already at her venue, so it doesn't look like it's cancelled. Given that, do you think she'll give an apology at her show or just go on like normal? And to answer that question in hindsight, she went on like normal, if you want to call it normal. Because what made it very ironic is that the show is all about fighting back against the haters and being cancelled and making jokes about being cancelled. And obviously, this idea for the show was made before these new allegations have came out. But yeah, like if you're doing a show all about being cancelled and fighting back against the haters, we have recently been accused of like grooming and very serious allegations. Might not be the best look. I mean, here's a backdrop she would use throughout her shows, showing like some like hate comments. You've got one in the corner here that says, My dad came in and I switched to porn because it was easier to explain, which is just a weird comment to pick since like Colleen's fans are like literally 12. You know how that joke always goes around of, like, your viewers are 12. No, her viewers are quite literally like 12, 13, 14 years old, as we see, because she brings them on stage. She also has this backdrop throughout the show that just says, haters, back off, which I've got to say is actually better than any response we've got from Colleen so far. And I get this is kind of like a little funny piece, you know, like haters will be haters and all this. You should fight back against the haters. You know, you hear YouTubers say this all the time, but that's usually when they get called out for something a little bit stupid. You know, if they forgot to put like hashtag ad on a brand deal and someone called them out, they might reply saying like, oh, you're just being a hater right now. But we're not talking about hashtag ads here. We're talking about Colleen at the age of 30 messaging underage people asking for like ass pictures and asking what their favorite sex position is and sending them like lingerie. So it's a... Uh... A little bit different. I also believe Haters Back Off is like a Netflix show she did, apparently. I might actually take a look at that for a video. I don't know if that'd be of an interest to any of you, but I thought that might be a funny little video, but let me know in the comments. And then probably the most ironic part about Miranda's show is that she was selling merch that says cancelled on it. And yet again, this was obviously an idea before these new allegations came out, but surely when you're currently being cancelled, if you want to call it that, you maybe scrap the merch? Yet again, this isn't a situation of like Tana Mojo being on a podcast and saying something stupid. These are very serious claims and you haven't addressed them yet, and it seems like you're taking a piss out of very serious claims. I also saw a bunch of pictures from her show kind of suggesting that not many people showed up. I mean, if we look at this picture of the crowd here, obviously there's not too many people in that crowd. The show doesn't seem to have started by now, so it might have up, but from what I've seen, it seems like not that many people showed up, and I don't know if that's normal for a Colleen Bellinger show, or if it is just because of these new allegations. But I really wouldn't be surprised if people didn't turn up because of these allegations. Like I said, they are very serious, and I feel like she should be addressing them to the fullest extent, but who knows? She's obviously just carrying on with her show like normal and doing a tour, which is a very weird choice to me. You know, if she did the tour after kind of addressing everything and it was like a decent response, wouldn't have as much of a problem with it. It's just the fact that she's genuinely just ignored all these allegations, unless you want to count the one from like three years ago, which a lot of her fans are doing, but she has ignored these new allegations and she's carrying on doing a tour where she's profiting of people, again, very young people at that. And in case you aren't aware of the type of stuff that Colleen does at these shows, I did find a few videos, and I don't know the full extent of what she does, I think she just plays her character and makes jokes. But a lot of these jokes tend to be quite sexual, kind of aimed at her viewers as well, and yeah, you could kind of say that's a joke if you want to do that, but in hindsight, when you're bearing in mind all the new allegations of her saying sexual things to, like, children when it's not a joke, just kind of in a message on DMs, um, it's a little bit worrying. <laughs> Very funny. It is funny. Yep. So I imagine the joke here, right? Because obviously she's pointing at one of her viewers and saying this is porn. I'm imagining the joke is that she's got someone who's wearing like her outfit, who, which is not porn apparently, and then she points at someone who's not, and then she calls it porn, which yet again, very strange behaviour. I can just imagine the parents in the crowd being like, oh. What have I brought my kids to here then? Whilst, by the way, she just has porn written in massive text on the screen behind her. Like, what is going on here? We also have another segment here that apparently, I'm just based on the context of this tweet here, that Miranda is playing the character of her uncle and she brings like girls on the stage to talk about how they're pregnant. And then Miranda's uncle, which is her, says like a few comments, which are really, really fucking strange. Right then, yeah, I mean, it's not the best look, is it? You're playing your uncle and you're going on stage to say that you like little girls while you brought one of your viewers on stage. Like, what was the thought process behind this?
<laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a very uncomfortable watch, isn't it? But yeah, like I kind of briefly mentioned in my last video, I wasn't really aware of what Miranda Singh's character was. It's not really someone I grew up watching or anything like that. So I didn't really know what she did. I just knew she put like loads of lipstick on and spoke in a weird voice. But now that I've kind of looked at some older clips, it became clear that this is kind of a character just doing like creepy behavior. Oh, he's he could be my next bag. I love her. I love Thank you. Yeah. It's just laughing. <laughs> Oh, you sound just like me. Yeah, so that was obviously her reacting to, like, Kids React or something. Of Derek, age 13, as it says in the corner. And then she says, oh, he's cute. He could be my next beer. Which, yeah, I mean, apparently this is what she's just been doing throughout the years. Like, look, playing a character of someone who is creepy is one thing, right? You see, like, creepy characters in movies all the time. But the difference is here is that you're playing this creepy character, then bringing real people into it. Like, this kid of Kids React, and you're saying, like, creepy stuff to him. It's very fucking weird. And like I said, when you're watching these clips, you kind of have to better mind that when she was out of this character she was still sending messages to her viewers about sexual things and yeah I mean it's it's not a good look by any means. Now kind of unrelated to Colleen's like creepy behavior I also saw this clip doing the rounds and like I said it isn't related to the creepy stuff but when I saw this I was Jemmy gobsmacked I was lost for words and if this is real and it's a real story it's absolutely disgusting first of all but yeah like I said I don't know the full extent of like Colleen Ballinger's videos so I hope that she's playing a character here and that she's joking about this story. But I mean, yeah, listen. I used to like actually like rip things up or get angry. So I grabbed my dog for no reason, just grabbed the dog and pinched its skin and dug my nails into it. So the dog yelps, turns around to protect itself and bites me in the face. And I got stitches and went to the hospital and they were like, what happened? And I was like, the dog just bit me. And then they had to put the dog to sleep because the dog was dangerous to be around. So I murdered a dog. Yeah, like I said, I hope that that isn't a real story, but it doesn't seem like she's in a character. You know, she doesn't have the lipstick on and it seems like she's doing a bit of a story time of when she grabbed the dog for absolutely no reason as hard as she could. And then the dog naturally just like reacted because it's a dog. And then it resulted in the dog getting put down. And yeah, I mean, if that is a true story, that is beyond sad. But yeah, this has all kind of been new information to me because because like I said, wasn't really aware of what Miranda Sings or Colleen Ballinger did throughout the years. And now I've been seeing these clips, I'm very confused how it's kind of went on this long. I know it was kind of like a different time period and you could get away with a lot more throughout the years. But then obviously in hindsight, when you bear in mind the stuff that's actually came out in real life and not just in videos, it's not great. I mean, I'm losing words to actually be able to describe this properly because no words do it justice at this point. But yeah, as I'm recording this video on the 11th of June, we still don't have a response. I don't know if we'll have a response by the time this video goes out. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I don't know if we'll ever get a response at this point. It seems like she is just carrying on with a tour, but who knows what's happening. I feel like she has to respond, and yeah, I imagine when she obviously does, we will also be covering it. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this video there. I would love to know your thoughts on everything we spoke about in the comment section down below. And if you did enjoy, please do a like down below, subscribe if you are new, and also let me know topics to talk about in any future videos over on my Instagram. It's at Calamarkey. It's always linked in the description. And until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, goodbye.